everyone. We're talking essential vintage today. I'm here in the studio. This is kind of a behind the scenes look. I'm actually kind of re-sprucing and pulling in some new inventory. So today I want to talk with you about essential vintage. And again, we've said that essential vintage are those pieces that you love, that move around in your home, that are part of your everyday decor. And today I want to talk about art being essential vintage. And for me, I think that art is really what you love. So it doesn't have to be from a fancy artist or something like that. It can just be a piece that really, really speaks to you. And art doesn't have to be traditional in the term, in the sense of maybe, um, you know, a painting or something. You could do something like this um, needlework right here. I mean, this great seahorse, I mean, so fun. The other thing that you could do is, you know, think of it using a mirror as a great piece of artwork, as part of a gallery wall and the beautiful carvings that you see here with this wood mirror. The other thing that I love to do what I consider, you know, artwork is something that's really architectural, that maybe has just great texture and great structure. And a good example of that would be this vintage fish basket that they would use to catch fish. And I love the idea of it hanging on the wall and just really adding some interest. So look for pieces that you love, things that speak to you. I think artwork, you know, what's really fun is to incorporate vintage pieces with newer artists that you follow and you know, people like that that you love. And so vintage art can really be such a fun expression of the things you love and who you are. Thanks so much. See you next time.